Come with me up Moses Mountain, come and meet with God. Come with me to the river bank with the spinning wheels above. Come with me up Moses Mountain, come and meet with God. Come with this is the thing that, that I really want to focus on here. We are there to serve the body, and the body is natural. It's a natural man. Has, we, we carry spirit. We're spirit within us. Our spirit responds to God. Our spirit responds to the deep. But 90% of the people that come to a Sunday gathering are tired. They're stressed. They're busy. Their focus is everywhere. They have a, a physiological and a psychological need to be focused in. We want to take them on a journey. And this phase model is one of the best ways to understand that progression. And, and it's fluid within its structure. You can work with it. But it will show you the progression of the human soul and psyche. And it, it's, it remains one of the most effective ways to do it. I used to really kind of balk at the idea of, you know, feeling like I had to start with this and move to that. Like, I want to start with slow songs. And, I, and, and that's great. It's fine. But over the years, I have learned, and I'm sure you have too, nine times out of ten, this is not the most effective way to bring people in. Sometimes that's what the Holy Spirit is doing, and so we want to be flexible. But nine times out of ten, flesh is predictable in how it responds. And so because we're there to serve... Yes, we're there to serve God. We want to go deep. We want to corporately chase after what God is doing and be open to the flow. But we want to enable the people to come. If we can't bring the people with us, there is no point in going there. Um, the phase model looks like this. It has five stages. The first stage is celebration. You can call it lots of different things, but the essence of it is celebration. It is a call to worship. It's horizontal singing about God and his greatness, and it gathers the people in. It's, it's like that call to come. It's not focused on him yet. It's, it's horizontal and we're singing about God, but it, it's a summons to the people. So you might spend one, maybe two songs on celebration. The next stage is exaltation. It's very similar to celebration, but it takes the horizontal and makes it vertical. So now we're singing those same celebratory things, but we're directing the worship to God. And that gathers, the, we've now gathered the people in, and now we've directed their focus to God. Um, the next step, back up, I, I would spend maybe three to four songs on those first two steps. And I would stay there until you are seeing a witness in the people and in the Holy Spirit that they've made the shift from being gathered in to focusing on God. Because ultimately, they're turning their focus heavenward. They're, they're becoming vertical is the platform for everything else. It can go a number of directions from that point. But if you can't help the people shift their focus this way, we will not get there. We'll just stay horizontal. Sometimes people need to stay horizontal for a long time. It, it just really depends on, on what they've come in with, what gathering you're looking at, what their needs are. This has been our biggest struggle in our church because the room, the, the, the way the room is laid out does not lend itself to quick intimacy, to quick entry into the deep. And so that call to worship is very, very important. And then we want to make the shift into, that, into the exaltation where people are now engaged in vertical worship.